testing food for glyphosate for the people. Glyphosate is the most used biocide poison in our agriculture. Its safety has not been independently verified. Its safety test records and data has not been made public. World Health Organization has classified this, this molecule as a probable carcinogen. Other scientists have found strong correlation between its use and a number of autoimmune diseases. Yet more scientists have found this molecule to be a mimic of glycine, an important amino acid and a building block of all life, and thus able to cross our blood-brain barrier, enter our biology, be misincorporated into our proteins, causing the proteins to malfunction and trigger a cascade of ill health or disease depending on where it ends up randomly or chaotically. Canada did not have a lab a few years ago that tests food for glyphosate. But today, labs are offering this service but not publicized by the media or the government. Government is now testing our food for glyphosate but not disclosing the results. We here are trying to create a grassroots movement that demands that some level of our government services start testing our food for glyphosate and make the results public. This is not about debating if glyphosate is safe or at what level of contamination. This is about people's right to know how much of it is in what kind of food and to deal with that information the way they like. Scientists on payroll of corporations and ignorant politicians should not be hijacking our food policies. Citizens should be made aware of the contaminants in our food and citizens should be the most important driver in national food and health policy decisions. This video is being made to promote that idea and start a grassroots movement and encourage people participation. Who should be target for us to push and start for starting a scheme to test our food? Some level of our government, I would like to see people pushing their local municipalities I have been told by a retired microbiologist recently that I might be choosing too high a mountain to climb and that I might have easier luck talking to Ag Canada, Agriculture Canada. I don't mind that. I have already shot off a letter to the Minister of Ag Canada. The problem I find is that people in Ag Canada are mostly bureaucrats that are unelected and therefore in essence not accountable to anybody, least of all to the people. And the minister sitting on top, I am advised, uh, in essence do not, uh, does not decide anything but only signs uh, the papers brought to him. Whether that is true or not, the minister is just one MP from a specific constituency and people outside of that constituency do not have much leverage to force his opinion. That is where I find municipalities come in. Every citizen and every resident has a municipality or a district where his or her, her vote counts and where he or she can bring a delegation to the town hall. Anyway, this is a road that has not been traveled before and we shall have to find our way as we embark on this journey. But one thing is for sure, now that labs are finally available, we want to be involved in pushing our government, whichever government, to start testing and to make the results available to the people. No ifs and no buts. Another thing. I believe this should be a grassroots movement, meaning thousands 
hundreds of thousands, millions of Canadians should lean on their government representative to see this through. They should not line up behind a leader or a guru. Remember, leaders can be bought off. They often are. This is a struggle that needs to lead from the bottom and not from the top. That means it is everybody's struggle, a class struggle if you like to think of it that way. And that is what this new grassroots movement is all about. It is about getting our government to stop tap dancing and start testing our food for glyphosate for the people. It is about people themselves learning to lean on their representatives and educating them that these representatives are public servants and not emperors. Their job is to follow people's wish and not to lecture them. It is about taking back control of our food, the first step in our health care. It is about us, you and me. Thank you.